हेलो यात्रीज वेलकम बैक टू अवर यात्री क्लाउड आई मे था चौहान सो टूडे वेलकम बैक टू अवर कुबन सर्टिफिकेशन रोड मैप हु आर गोइंग टू ट्राई टू बैक इन टू अवर क्लाउड एंड डेवर्स हु आर इन डिफरेंट ओवर और यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट विथ अवर करेंट लेटेस्ट टैक्स टैक विच इज ऑन डिमांडिंग राइट नाउ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव द क्लाउड डेवर्स एंड ए आई इंजीनियरिंग सो नाउ द फर्स्ट टर्म्स वेर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द रोड मैप why you should follow this one so if you want to become a very good cloud and devops engineer in specific kubernetes so you need to first understand right how many certifications are there and how much is important am i right yes so here you can see the first one the official website from the kubernetes and here is the power by cncf and this is the five certification here and which is the best for you right someone is a good in the admin side someone is good in the development side right someone is good in the security side am i right yes so based on your goal based on your skill set which one is for you right that i am going to discuss in this video so please make sure if you have get any value from this video hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification and follow me on linkedin to get more cloud and devops stuffs so back to our kubernetes certification rule map and here you can see the most five certification which you can do right now if you are the already into the cloud in devops overall or if you want to check it out from your current overall into the new one stay tuned in this video i am going to give you the each and every solutions by end of this video the first one the cka cka ad second one CKS and KCNA and KCS. So we'll go through one by one in this video. So before going to the further, I would like to clear what is the Kubernetes. Who are actually beginner who didn't know about the Kubernetes. So I'm going to explain you in a very easy manner. So no one can confuse by the Kubernetes terms. So have you felt ever by a Kubernetes? How many, you know, the terms are there? and there are too much you know for too many tools too many confusion like where to start am i right so kubernetes is nothing but it's a free and open source where you can manage apps and run the application in the specific inside the container right so kubernetes is manage your application and ensure about application is not going to go in a downtime it must be running up to time 24 into 7 uh, okay so next why kubernetes are too much important nowadays do you know how much salary the kubernetes uh who know the kubernetes they have right so they are too much high paying jobs right now and in upcoming years why just because of i'm give you the one example let's say you are running the e-commerce business and let's say the 1000 customers are coming and it would be hand up easily but let's say what happened if one lakh customers hitting your website at the same time then your website is going to the town right or maybe it crashes or maybe it's not working so what happened no one can purchase anything no one can interact with the website and no one can you know come coming into your business and also your reputation is going to the down so to overcome this all the issues what we can do we ensure our application is must be running up to time no matter how many users are come at the same time so for that kubernetes is coming into the picture so kubernetes is basically you know ensuring your application must be running the containers would be start automatically as per the rules as per the scenario which we are going to configure so as a good devops engineer it's your role how you are going to come you know give the particular infrastructure and configuration to the application so that's why how much kubernetes are important in our job role so next one here the kubernetes yatri so if you want to know more about the kubernetes join us the link is given in the description and happy to connect with you all of you guys now the first one learn the basics before go into the certification learn the basics linux docker and yml file right 
and Linux course is upcoming in our checklist. So next one short video is coming the Linux. So stay tuned for our Yatri Cloud and subscribe now to getting first notification from our site. Now the term first one is the QCTL, the main CLI tools which you must know about it before going to certification. Secondly, help Kubernetes package manager. Third one, plans the KTS dashboard for visualized learning. KTS is a short form of the Kubernetes. So don't confuse by the word. Then you can go with the Minikube or kind which is the local Kubernetes cluster. Then what you need to go cloud providers. So you can pick up any one of them. CKE for Google One, AKS for the Azure and EKS for AWS. So you can choose any one of them as per your expertise on specific cloud. So go with the particular Kubernetes services as per your knowledge and then you can just keep in your mind what you can do. Daily practice just because of exams are hands on, right? So keep in your mind. Plus labs which you need to do as much as you can. Then mock exams which is really help out to you to getting know about questions. And then success definitely you will be getting us certified. So you what need to memorize right? No need to worry. You will build the muscle memory. Means practice till you sit Kubernetes like feels like it's your second language. So be practice as much as just like you never forgot like that okay so be consistent and next i would like to say ck ckd kcs kcn and kcs so here is the first one the cka the certified kubernetes administrator so four four five dollar certification exam which is really high if you want to get discount 40 percent 60 percent or any just join us in the kubernetes yatri we will give you the update there which is the current offer next one this is for them who want to go with admin site secondly certified kubernetes application developer ckad the same price right now the make sure what is the difference between cka and ckad Let's say you are into the cloud and DevOps role. You are managing the infrastructure. You are managing the CI/CD pipelines. You are managing the troubleshooting and everything, right? Then you can go with the CKA. CKA administrator one. Or let's say you are the development. You are more into the, you know, application building type. So you need to go with CKAD. Why? Because CKAD is so developer who are going to build the application inside the cluster and who are going to manage the cluster that is the CKA clear CKA who is the you know configure the cluster managing the clusters and working on the on infrastructure side where CKD is the working on more application side development side building application which is running on cluster clear so that is the two difference third one is on security side so this is for you guys who have at least basic knowledge and wanna know into the security. Please go with the CKS one. Then you can go with the Kubernetes Cloud Native Associate one, which is most aligned on the cloud native solutions. The same on the security side. But I would like to suggest first one go with the three most demanding certifications: CKA, CKAD, and CKS. Then you can identify the job roles the kubernetes administrator devops role sre cloud native engineers platform engineers and there are too many roles which you can get with high paying jobs like you know 10 lakh is a very base salary on if you have a very good knowledge in the kubernetes and going up to 35 45 60 70 lpa so this is the intermediate salary up to the senior level so it's a very high paying job and you want to know more about me, just follow me on LinkedIn and stay updated with me. So just the link is given in the description and subscribe to the Yatri Cloud and see you soon into our Kubernetes Yatri and wait for our upcoming Linux video. So see you guys. Best of luck to you.